Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sandra. What are you doing? We're making some sandwiches for today's drive in the country. And what drive? Hasn't Paolo told you about the trip? Today he wants to take us to visit an old farmhouse in the country. It's supposed to be very beautiful. A perfect example of rural architecture. That's right. I remember now, uh, Paolo told us it was built by some rich Italian-American, a really eccentric character, a friend of his mother's. Okay, girls. Is everything ready? We've almost finished. Hmm. What a wonderful smell. They look and smell great. Keep your hands to yourself. No one's touching these delicacies now. You'll be able to taste them later when we have our picnic. Mm. Uh, Paolo, about this outing, where is the farmhouse? Mm, in the countryside, about 20 kilometers from here. And is it true that it's incredibly beautiful and that it belongs to an Italian-American? Oh, yes, but it was designed by a Dutch architect. And it was built in the style of an 18th century Tuscan farmhouse, right? Oh, right. Oh, believe me, it's a jewel. I didn't know you were so interested in architecture. Oh, my dear ladies, there are so many things that you don't know about me. As well as music, I have many other passions. I'm full of surprises. No one doubts that, Paolo. <laughs>
Of course. Uh, well, after finding out about this this thing, I realized that I needed to talk to you straight away, but mm. I didn't have the courage. Uh, we've known each other for a long time. I've always thought a lot of you. God, I don't know how to tell you this, Mike. Well, then, don't be shy. It's not easy to say certain things. I mean, <laughs> you know what it's like. I put yourself in my shoes. I. You don't need to tell me this. Yeah. For years, I've been trying to. Maybe, as we've come this far, we, we don't need words anymore. Hello, what are you doing? You've gone crazy. I... Oh. Uh, but, but I thought, I thought that, that you too. That I, that I what? I, I was, I was trying to tell you that I, um, that, that I really like you and that, that you're a true friend. Only a true friend, nothing more. <laughs> what an idiot I am. For, for a moment, I, I thought... I thought I had feelings for me. I'm sorry, Mike. I, I, I didn't want to, to upset you. It's just that... Well, the truth is, is that there's someone else in my heart. I know. Don't worry. Um, let's pretend nothing's happened, okay? Okay. Right. Friends? Like before? Of course. Um, but no, no hard feelings? Okay. Fine. I'll... I'll just go and, and finish packing then. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. not sure you were only interested in football and nothing else. Uh, what are you trying to say? Don't play the fool with me, Mike. I understand lots of things now. Like the time I told you I loved you. Do you remember? At that time, we were always together. And I thought there was more between us than just simple friendship. Come on, Sarah. Not that old story again. I mean, there's no point in going over all of that again. Well, I think it's time to put a few things straight, once and for all. At that time, you told me you weren't in love with me, and that you didn't want to deceive me. I felt rejected, and thought that football was to blame. I thought that football was the only passion in your life. But now... But now what? Oh, stop it, Mike. I saw you here just now with Anne. Wait a minute, sir. Let me explain things. Oh, you don't need to explain. I'm not angry. In fact, you, all of you, have helped me a lot in the past few days. I'm at peace with myself again, and this is really important. And, to be honest, I'm glad to have found out the true reason for your refusal was another woman, and not, and not football. I think of you more than any sport, Sarah. Hey, guys! It's late! I'm sorry, I was packing. <sighs> so, it's time to say goodbye already. Oh, I hate goodbyes. Always a sentimental one. <sighs> anyway, we'll be meeting up again soon, right? Right. Yes. Okay. I have some good news. I've decided to open up a new bar. Wow. And you're all officially invited to the opening party. 
Pothole. I think I'm going to call it college, in honor of all of you. Oh, fantastic. And as for the music in your new bar, here I am, with my guitar, of course. You know, you're always welcome to come to this house. And I'll be waiting for you all next year for another wonderful holiday together. In memory of the good old days. Yeah. Friends with the they be back soon. I'll sing away for next year. sweet home. I would have preferred to stay away just a little bit longer. Mm. Oh my god, look at the mess. Look at this place. And look at the dust. Oh, I don't even know where I'm going to begin. Oh. Calm down, Anne. One thing at a time. Mm. Let's just have a look at the post to start with. Electricity bill, heating bill, telephone bill. I can't believe there are only bills to pay. I'll open them later. Coming home from holiday is stressful enough as it is. Hmm. Oh, here's a letter from Sharon. Hmm. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, I'll tidy up later. Dear Anne... I would have preferred to say goodbye in person, but you had already left for your trip to Italy. Speaking of which, did you enjoy yourself? Unfortunately, things between me and Jack just haven't worked out. Maybe we rushed everything. Maybe memories with Peter were still too fresh. I don't know. Anyway, living together just became impossible. After thinking about things long and hard, I decided to accept my boss's offer to transfer to Amsterdam to take charge of the new museum opening. It's a great city. In any case, I need time to get my life in order. And Well, I hope everything's fine with you. Don't move. Oh, don't hurt me. There, you'll find all my money there. Just, just take it and leave. Relax, please. Anne. It's me, Jack. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Jack. Are you crazy? You scared me half to death. And, uh, how did you get in here? Well, I might be living next door, but I still have these. So I can surprise you from time to time. Jack, you'll never change. I was reading a letter from Sharon explaining why she left. If you don't mind, Anne, I'd, I'd rather not talk about that. Uh, what about you and your Mr. Perfection, Nick? How are you? Well, I realized that things weren't all as perfect as he wanted me to believe and in any case if you don't mind I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> Absolutely. Let bygones be bygones. Well, what about a drink to celebrate your homecoming? Mm, no Jack. I've just arrived and I need to unpack uh, and just take a look at the place. It's a disaster area. <laughs> no the first thing I want to do is get things tidied up. Where did you get this? Isn't it marvellous? My grandmother gave it to me. It's fantastic. Well, if you want to get tidied up, you'd better start right away. It'll take you a month to clean this. I know. <laughs> you say I'll never change. And do you ever think about anything besides cleaning? Mm? No, guys. You should get engaged to a Hoover. Mm. Anyway, no excuses. Come on, go, get ready. Can you manage to be ready by seven? <laughs> Yes, yes, I, 
arrived this morning. Oh, and I'm here with Jack now. He says hello. Yeah, she says hello. I'm so happy. You know, Jack insisted on cleaning the whole house straight away. Hmm? What? What telegram? No, I haven't received anything. What? But tonight? You should have given me some advance notice. Okay. Yes. Fine. I'll see you at the airport at nine. What do you mean at the airport? What did Alice have to say? She's arriving tonight at nine o'clock. For good. And she's bringing a surprise. Wow. Well, that is good news. What, together again? All for one, one for all. Isn't that great, Anne? Yep. Fantastic. What's the matter? Why the sad face? Nothing. What? Well, it's just that I was just thinking about the poor house. I don't even want to start to imagine what a mess I'm going to have in here with you two. I'm oh! You. I just don't understand, Alice. Why did you leave the job you were doing with your father? Had you started arguing again? No, well, not exactly. You know, working with my father is very difficult. We just have a completely different artistic view of things. And you know how I am. After a bit, I just get bored of doing the same things. I need new horizons. Well, what's wrong with working on a set? Wasn't it uh, satisfying enough? Uh, sure, of course. You know, in the long run, even the most satisfying things can get boring. And, of course, I met Edward. <laughs> By the way, Edward is a Scorpio. Ooh, that's really interesting. Have you noticed what a magnetic look he has about him? Well, it's kind of hard to see his eyes from behind that camera. I wonder if he ever puts it down. <laughs> Does he take it to bed with him? Stop! No, no. It's not going to work like that. You guys aren't acting naturally at all. You're too stiff. You look like statues. What we need here is expression, involvement. Passion. Come on, let's do another take of that last scene. Which scene makes us look stiff? <laughs> We're simply talking here, Edward. <laughs> That's what I mean. Do it well. Let your inner self flow. Express your fears. Your hidden desires. You, and Yes, you. You are in love with Jack, aren't you? Don't be afraid. Show your true feelings. Show him what you are capable of. Well, besides the fact that I'm, I'm not in love with Jack anymore. Well, who told you, anyway? Okay, okay, let's take five. Maybe it's better if I leave you alone. Uh, excuse me, Alice. Could you tell me where I can watch this material in peace and quiet? Um, go on into my room, Edward. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay, Alice. Could you tell me what the hell you said to him? Oh, just the truth. When Edward told me about his love of reality shows, I jokingly told him he had to meet you guys because life in this house was more exciting than a soap opera. He asked me why and I told him everything. Okay, what exactly do you mean by everything? Well, about you and Peter and how you fought over Sharon and about Anne's unrequited love for you and how she discovered your relationship. In other words, all the emotional goings-on of recent. Oh, my 
God, Alice. What got into you? This is so embarrassing. You know damn well I'm reserved about these things. What am I supposed to do now? Just be yourself. There's nothing easier, is there? What's the matter? Nothing's the matter for you, that's for sure. <laughs> We're the ones that end up looking ridiculous. Just for the record, what is Edward planning to do with all of this interesting material? What does he do for a living? Edward is a director. A great director. <laughs> and as far as your other question is concerned, that's a surprise. I can't say anything yet. At any rate, you'll find out soon. Mm. My God, Alice. Your surprises are starting to trouble me. <laughs> Away. That's enough. There's a limit to everything, you know. Great. That's it, and Go on like that. You are fantastic. Oh, fantastic, my eye. I told you to cut it out. Alice! Alice! Oh, yes, Anne, what can I do for you? <laughs> Stop laughing. Oh, Anne. <laughs> and tell your director friend to, to give it a rest oh. and put away that damn video camera. I absolutely do not want to be filmed like this. Have I made myself perfectly clear? <laughs> Hi, Alice. Hey. Good morning, Edward. Can't stop working, eh? <laughs> What's on the menu for today's shoot? <laughs> wow, Anne, you look beautiful. <laughs> Excuse me, um, could I use the bathroom for a moment? Huh? Thanks. Oh, calm down, Anne. None of these sessions are going to be shown for air. At least for now. What exactly does for now mean? Well, once all the material has been put in place, cut and edited, Edward's planning on showing it to a producer. If it's accepted, the idea is to go for our own TV program. <gasps> Isn't that a great idea? What? Yeah. Producer? Television? Mm-hmm. Let me in, Jack. Let me in. No, let me in. Oh. 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 Let me in. Oh. So, Anne, what do you think of Edward? In what sense? As a man or as a director? Do you really have to ask? As a man, of course. Well, I've just met him, so I can't really say. But um, as a director, my view is that he's a bit too intrusive. Come on, Anne, get over it. That's his job. In my opinion... I think he's just great. Oh, what's this I'm hearing? Our little Alice might be in love? Well, yes. As I see it, Anne, this is the first time in my life I've fallen head over heels in love. So much in love. But he doesn't even notice me. You know, we share so many common interests and we see things in the same way. We can talk for hours on end, but it just ends there. He looks on me as a good friend. Nothing more, nothing less. You know, I'm really...
really not used to that role. Usually I'm the one to keep others at bay. <laughs> yes, I remember. Um, Tom, Frank, David. How many broken hearts have you left behind? So tell me, have you asked Edward how he feels about you? No, of course not. Look, Edward isn't interested in some relationship. He's, he's profound and introspective. Spiritual. He's a person who enjoys observing and analysing others. Mm, yes, if you ask me, too much so. Anyway, I can't agree with you, I'm afraid. Even spiritual beings, personal longings, I think you should tell him. And who knows? Your Edward might be much more human than you think. Oh, maybe you're right. But... I have to think of a special way to show him just how I feel. Maybe I should see what my horoscope has to say. Yes, 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 I've just had a brilliant idea. Alice, mm. are you feeling okay? Oh, yeah. Hi, Anne. I'm just preparing a little lunch for Edouard. Edouard? Mm. What's with the French accent? I thought you said he was Canadian. He is, from the French part. His mother's French, so he's fully bilingual. Mm. Well, now that you mention it, I had noticed a slight... French accent. Oh, yes. Isn't it adorable? Mm. <sighs> <laughs> well, I must say, love does work wonders. I'm not at all used to seeing you as a, a housewife. Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't got used to it yet. <laughs> you know, I just hope I got the recipe right. You know... I followed the instructions to the letter. Mm. But you know I feel like a fish out of water with these things. Uh, so, um, you've decided to go for Edward's jugular? Well, not only that. Here's the crowning touch. What is it? It's a Chinese fortune cookie with a little note inside. <laughs> what a romantic idea. Do you think? I wrote the note myself. I, I thought I would surprise him by hiding it inside his napkin. Like this. What do you think? I think it's just perfect. <gasps> You'll see. It will go straight to his heart. Hello? Yes, this is Alice. Oh, it's already come in. What? Oh, in half an hour? Um, yeah, okay, okay. I'll, I'll be there in a few minutes. Anne? Mm. Could I borrow your car? Please? I have to go and pick up a packet my father sent me, but uh, the post office closes in half an hour and oh, I won't make it on foot. Um, my car? Mm. You don't have a licence? Oh, don't worry about it. I have it. And anyway, I always used to drive. You know, my dad's got a car just like yours. Okay, I'm off. <gasps> Tell Edward I'll be back in a flash. Mm. Alice? Used to it, Anne. It's the same old story. Now I'm 
running late. Oh, I can't believe I always get myself into these situations. I'm late and here I am helping Alice with her grand plan. I am. Oh, hello. Oh, that smells great. My compliments to the chef. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 Edward. It's not like you think. I have to go. I've got a meeting with my boss. Alice has just gone out. She told me to let you know that she'll be returning soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, I'm starving. Hmm. What's this? A little note? A little delight for the man who's got my heart raising. What? What's this all about? There must be some mistake. Oh, well, yes. This is my napkin. Who could have written this? Oh, my God. Anne. But, but, but she was just here and she was so shy. This is getting interesting. And it's very cute. So what am I going to do now? I'm not used to these things. Uh, now, has it gone? Well, it's not here. Mm. It's not there either. Edward? Yes? Have you seen my mobile phone? Oh, no, here it is. Thanks. <laughs> Pardon me. Why are you eyeing me like that? Uh, no, nothing, nothing. Well, all right. I've got to run. Bye-bye. <laughs> She's acting like nothing is happening at all. This is getting very interesting. Jack! Jack! I was waiting for you. Have you got a minute? Sure, Edward. What's up? You want to put some muscles in your film? Oh, Jack, you're quite a joker. I need some advice about a rather delicate matter. Well, it's about women. Oh, well, then you've come to the right person when it comes to women. In all modesty, I'm sort of an expert. Go ahead, shoot. But make it fast. I have to get to the gym. Oh, well, don't worry. It's like this. If a woman lets you mysteriously know that she's keen on you, and if you didn't expect it, but then you find that you don't mind the gesture, in fact, because of this, you find that you are becoming fond of her. And if she acts as if nothing has happened... Whoa, 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 whoa Edward. What are you getting at? I, I don't understand. It, is this a new idea for a film? Because if it is... You should think about rewriting this script. It seems very convoluted to me. Jack, stop joking. It's a serious matter. I, I just don't know how to behave. I, I can't stand this situation. Well... Okay. Let's take this from the top. So, a woman goes for you. However, she doesn't do it openly. But then she pretends as if nothing has happened. And, as far as I can tell, you don't dislike the idea. Have I got it? Exactly. Mm. What should I do? Well, the fact... Her behavior leads me to believe that she's fond of games. So, use that. Play the mysterious man. And then... Surprise her with something special. You know, like uh, take her out to dinner, or write her a poem, or send her some red roses. Women really go for that kind of thing. Oh, really? I got an idea. I'd really like to meet this mysterious woman. <laughs> what she sees in him is beyond me. <laughs> What? It's like hot or something. I don't know. 
Joey. Edward! Would you mind not watching the TV for a moment? I'd like to have a word with you. Is it important, Alice? Chuck is on. The reality program about show business. You know I'm nuts for this show. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's about the only thing you go for. What's up, Alice? What's bothering you? Edward, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's just that has something... What? I mean, anything particular happened recently? Oh, well, <laughs> if I have to tell you the truth, yes. Great. <laughs> so, what? So what? What are you getting at? Well, what did you think about it? Were you pleased by it? Oh, yes, very much, but why we are talking about such embarrassing things? Well, I think you should talk about it, Edward. Once and for all. You think you know me? I don't... I'm not good with words. Well, then, get into action. I think you've already waited long enough. Well, maybe you're right. I'm a class, aren't I, Alice? <laughs> yes, but you can fix it. I'll surprise you. By the way, Alice, have you decided what are you going to wear for our date yet? Oh, our date? Are you serious, Edouard? Sure. Our date with Mr. Martin, the television producer. That date? Have you forgotten? No, don't worry. I haven't forgotten about it. It is way behind. No one jumps for the ball, no one calls for the ball. Carney's slightly out of position, just snaps the ball and scores. <laughs> This spot should work well. Maybe here would be better. And I'll put the card here, next to this. Uh, let's give it a quick once over again. And I should have done this long ago. Now, I can't wait any longer. Listen to my poetry, written especially for you. You are perfume, the color of all flowers, the breath and scent of the sea, the warming strength of the sun. You, the shining star that lights my life. Who knows if she'll like it? What about these roses? Will she like them? What if she makes fun of me? Perhaps uh, I shouldn't have listened to Jack, but of course, of course. It makes no sense to go on as if nothing has happened. Somebody has to take the first step. I'll await you tomorrow night here in the living room. When everyone is asleep, we'll be able to be alone, finally, alone. Okay, that is done. There's nothing more to do now but wait. I'll be home soon. Thank God Alice won't be here at least for two hours. And Jack is at the gym, yes? I calculate everything perfectly. 
Now it's time for me to leave as well. I don't want him to see me here. Mm -hmm. Here she is. It's time to go. Excellent. Great, Edward. The moment of truth approaches. They'll never call me an amateur again. Right, fine. Bye-bye. Is the door open? Bloody cat's coming. Oh, what are these? <gasps> For me. Oh, they're beautiful. I wonder who sent them. Oh, what poetry. Who could have written it? No, Anne. What are you thinking? Now, don't be silly. It can't have been Jack. Oh, my God. But then again, he's the only person I can imagine who would have written such lovely poetry. And... Oh, my God. Oh, what if it were Jack? Now that Sharon is out of the picture... And... Would have ever thought that that one day Oh Jack Hi Anne. Hi Alice. My aren't we feeling chirpy today? Yes, we are feeling chirpy. I've just received a mysterious and completely unexpected surprise. So, what is it? What's all the suspense for? Oh, I'm sorry, Alice. I'd like to keep it a secret for the time being. There's something I have to check up on first. But don't worry, I'll tell you soon enough. Now, why don't you tell me how's it going with Edouard? By the look on your face, I would guess things aren't going very well. You said it. A complete and utter disaster. I should never have written that card. Why? What's the matter? That's the problem. Nothing has happened. Edouard acts as if he'd never read that card. And yet I know he read it. I'm absolutely certain of it. Why are you so sure? Well, he told me in no uncertain terms. I fished around, vaguely, and he admitted that something strange had happened, and he also said that he was very pleased. And then nothing. No words, no actions. At this point, I think he was referring to something else entirely. Or else, I just have to accept the fact that he isn't interested in me. Oh, don't get depressed, Alice. If you want my opinion, I think you should have told him in person. Face to face is always better than playing games. At any rate, you've still got time. Why don't you sit down and have an earnest word with him? No way! To be embarrassed further? Anyway, there's something fishy about this whole story. Either Edward is acting like a complete fool, or else he hasn't truly understood what I feel for him. Oh, I need some clarity. From now on, I'm going to scrutinise his every move. <laughs> I'm so happy you have accepted my invitation. What a strange voice you have. I almost wouldn't have recognized you. It's the thrill. You can't imagine how I've longed for this moment. Oh, really? You don't say. <gasps> to be truthful, I'm rather emotional myself. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. Slow down, boy. I, 
I really don't want to wake the others. Oh, the others. Never mind. Who cares if they find out? Well, actually, I'd rather they didn't. You know how I am. I'm shy and reserved. Oh, what a pity. I know. And that's why I'm crazy about you. <laughs> reserved with the others. But you are a tiger when it comes to what you want. Come again? Oh, you know exactly what I'm speaking about. Well, let's light a candle. I want to see your face. Nervous. Come here, baby. Oh, let go of me. Let go. Don't you dare touch me. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. <gasps> hey, what's going on in here? <laughs> and what? <laughs> Anne. Oh, now I understand everything. Thanks a lot, Anne. What a great friend no. you are. No. What an idiot I was to confide in you. No, really. Alice. It's not like you think. Oh, and what am I supposed to think then? It seems pretty clear to me. No, no, really. L let me explain. Uh, I, I thought it would be, I thought it would be Jack. Uh, what does Jack have to do with it? Uh, why did you leave me this note in my napkin oh, the other day? Edward, it was me who wrote you that note. I can't believe you don't get it. Oh, but the, the poetry and, and the roses, that was you. Sorry about that. I thought, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, what an amateur you are, Edward. Hey, Anne. Hi. Have you read the paper? There's an article about Peter. Our singer has become famous. No, I haven't read it. To tell you the truth, I'm really not interested. What a pity. It's very interesting. Hey, Alice. Hi, Alice. Take a peek at the paper. There's an article about Peter. Whoopee. Glad to hear it. Who cares? How fun you girls are. It's quite the pleasure to hang out with you. Edward! At least you'll be interested. Would you like to read this article about our friend Peter? Actually, I wouldn't, Jack. Would somebody explain what's going on? I have never seen so many long faces. You and your expert advice. What's eating him? It has he gone star craving mad? No, Jack. I've gone star craving mad. Yet again, I played the fool. Oh, what an idiot! Okay, Alice. At least you'll explain what's going on. I'm in the dark here. Oh, it's a long story, Jack. A horrible mess. It all began with a misunderstanding. Well, I'm all ears. Go on, Alice. Do tell. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Have you got a minute? I... Hi, Jack. I'd like to have a word. You've probably already heard the sordid story. <laughs> yes. Listen, Anne. No, I want you to listen, Jack. You've probably had a good laugh on my behalf. Now, that said, I prefer no further comments on the story. <laughs> it is not my intention to make fun of you, Anne. Although I must admit that the whole misunderstanding was rather amusing. Great. Now, pretty please. Let's not talk about it anymore. Well, I would like to have a word about it. What I'm about to say is, is sure to surprise you. Nothing's bound to surprise me anymore, Jack. Anyway, listen. Don't worry. You don't have to explain. I know how things are. 
I know that you like me, but just as a friend, a friend that, Listen, well, Anne. maybe if we'd met at some other time, Anne, excuse me. things would have gone differently, and then, well, perhaps, oh, blah, 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 blah. Anne, can I speak for one minute, please? Yes. Certainly, Jack. Thank you. Go right ahead. Now, you know how, how I suffered about Sharon. And well, after her, I, I didn't think I'd ever feel anything about another woman. But then you came back from your holiday and, and I started to feel better. I didn't think about Sharon so much. What are you getting at, Jack? And it was, it was because of you that, that I managed to forget about Sharon. That's what friends are for, n'est-ce pas? You really don't get it, do you? Get what, Jack? Anne, Anne, I'm trying to tell you that I'm in love with you. I, I didn't want to believe it at first. I, I thought I was attracted to you because I, I felt so alone in the world. But then this feeling grew, and, and when Alice told me about Edward, I... I realized it should have been me to bring you those flowers. Jack, if this is some kind of a joke, it's not very amusing. No, 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 it's, it's the truth, I swear. We were made for each other. I should have realized it sooner. I'm sorry. Well, Jack! So, Edward, are you going to explain why you called us all here today? What, what, what's so urgent? Well, listen. Something marvelous has happened, to say the least. I must say, I'm a little unsure about what you term marvelous. Well, let's put aside our differences, Alice. We should all be happy today. Oh, just a moment. Yep. Yeah. Oh, great. Great. Uh, don't worry. Uh, uh, they are certain to accept. I've already spoken with the group. Yeah, they are bound to be here any moment. Yeah. Uh, we'll be sure to get the details later. Bye bye. Edward, do you plan on telling us what's going on? Well, you all remember that I was in touch with the producer to propose what I've filmed you in this house. Yes, and? He ate it up. He loved you all. The house, your daily gossip, your relationships. Oh, great. They have already arrived. Um, excuse me for a moment. I'll get it. Who's arrived? Who? <laughs> come. Come in, come in. This way. Edward, what's going on? Who are these people? Hold on now. Mr. Martin, the producer, has accepted my proposal. We are going to make some TV shows here. And you, you all are going to be the stars. You are bound to become famous. And I've already come up with a title. At home with Anne. What do you think? Oh my god. 